So I'm getting ready to go to my hair appointment and I wanted to fast today, but today is not the day. Um, I made a protein shake using that nasty protein powder that I talked all that mess about because I don't have any other ones right now. So this is the usual one I made. Um, this is chocolate vegan protein powder, cacao powder, bananas, peanut butter powder, and almond milk. And then we got all my liquids ready. We got water. And then we have the goat for you. Ooh, I was just spilled all that pink stuff on the rug. Cute. I just made it to West Hollywood to get my hair done. So I went, I think it was beginning of December to get my hair done and we went like super blonde. I don't think you guys have really seen my hair done with this color yet. I cut like five inches off so it goes to like here now. And then we went super blonde. But the thing is, how many times did I say super blonde? Um, The thing is, is that he put like a, um, he called it like a shadow root on top so it could blend in with my own roots and it would grow out really nice. But when I parted down the center, you can see it like has like a harsh line. So he's just gonna like go over that so it's softer. I want him just like to do the top because I don't need him to do the whole head and I don't want to be here forever. And then when I'm done, um, I have like a video that I have to film. I'm doing a makeup toot. And then um, I want to film like my kind of like overview for my Tesla video that I'm doing. Just like an informational video of the experience, you know, of like buying the Tesla and everything like that. So I'm doing that today. Anthony says I'm here to I'm grabbing a Starbucks. Want anything? You're so cute. No, thank you so much. So the guy that I went to to do my hair, his name was Anthony. He's amazing. He works at 901 Salon. Obviously, things are closed right now. Um, so we're not at that main salon. You know, COVID and everything going on is just kind of like weird right now. Um, it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, essentially, it's January, almost mid-January. And we've been doing this since, what, mid-March. And here in LA nothing's really changed like June July till maybe November there were more things open but right now the only thing that is different than last March is the malls are open some stores have closed like Apple Sephora things like that but like essentially everything is the same since March so here we are almost a year later and things will open and close again open and close again but it's Los Angeles and the numbers are nuts everything's crazy so you just never know like what's open what's closed what's allowed what's not so i just stay home pretty much every day and then when i have errands to run or stuff to do and it's open then i just go obviously wear a mask wash your hands all that crap but just waiting for you know all this to be done like, like i showed you earlier i had a protein shake and then um i finished my little goat fuel and then i have a water here but i'll probably um leave it in here for my drive home and just have some water in the salon I brought my iPad so I can like watch Netflix or TV or whatever. Guys, I'm loving the YouTube TV. I told my husband it was so unnecessary. We could just stream from the apps um, with our dad's like login. Like both of our dads have direct TV login. So we typically use those. What is on me? Um, but we got YouTube TV and it's definitely worth it. It's amazing. Um, I was surprised that we still had to watch ads even though... Um, we paid for it, but it's essentially like cable. If you're watching live TV, you're gonna have to watch ads. If you record it, you don't have to watch ads. If you go watch something on demand, like you didn't record it, but you still go search and watch it, um, you will watch a few ads, but it's literally nothing. Like you don't even think about it. Yeah, I'm loving it. And my iPad, my husband got me, has service as well. So I don't even have to be on Wi-Fi to watch TV or watch Netflix, you know, be on the internet, whatever. So it's so fun. I don't know if I showed you guys. He got me an iPad Pro. It's the cutest thing ever, and I got the Apple Pen. Um, yeah, so I will do everything on that now, which is nice. It's like the same size screen as my laptop, but my laptop, um, I still need that because of editing on Final Cut off of a hard drive. It's never going to happen on there. But, yeah, I'm just not in a good mood today. Um, I don't know. I try not to get too deep on here because I want it to be, like, super positive and... Um, you know just like a, a an entertaining video to watch i would say but at the same time i like sharing my experiences and things about mental health because i 
I don't know. I feel so alone in the way that I feel most of the time. And if someone sees it and they feel not alone or they feel like, hey, this is normal, then like I'm helping someone. And obviously I don't have a big following on here, but people watch it and they can like connect to it, then you know, it's good. But I don't know. I'm just struggling with my mental health right now. I just woke up. Like, here's my issue. I'll have all these plans. Like, for example, I've been wanting to start my fasting again and get on my workout plan. And, like, my challenge I normally do starts on the 25th. So I still have two weeks of, like, me trying to do my best to lose weight and, and you know, get back in the swing. Because I really haven't worked out since October. Like, I've done walks and stuff, but not weights since October. And I hate always feeling like I'm starting over. That's like a whole nother story. So basically I made like a little schedule for myself. Like, um, I want to fast this week. I want to get back to my workouts, like incorporating a little bit of weights, maybe do a walk, whatever. I need to film my videos today. I need to edit, um, like three videos this week. One is basically almost done edited. One is halfway done. And then, um, the one I filmed today, obviously I'll have to edit and stuff, but I just had so much I want to do and then I always have like really crazy vivid dreams and then I woke up and like I had so much anxiety I felt so depressed like I'm never gonna be able to do any of the stuff that I wrote down that I wanted to do and then like I get panicked and then like don't want to fast and it's I don't know I'm in like a really weird cycle so I had a protein shake and like an energy drink and water and I'm hoping that I can just not really eat that much today because I'm not even hungry. I still have cramps from my period and stuff, but I'm just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like, everything just feels so draining to me. Like, the thing is, my life is not that different, like, with everything from last March. Like, before COVID, I didn't leave the house a lot. Um, basically, when I got laid off from Capitol Records in 2016, I haven't had like a real job since then, like a job that I go to basically. So we got married January of 2017. So when I got laid off at Capitol Records in 2016, then I just was like wedding planning and focusing on that. And then I worked for a little bit. And then um, I always like help my husband with his business. He's a recording engineer, obviously, as you guys know, works in music, makes music, all that stuff. So like I help him with like invoicing and emails but it's not a ton for me to do i'm used to being in music an executive assistant or like someone that has a lot of stuff going on all the time that's like whatever i just do it to help him and keep track of our invoicing and billing and whatever so then um we moved right before we got married i don't know why we did that actually we got married okay first of all we got married around the holidays i'm ranting right now so feel free to skip this but i have like 15 more minutes and you know, I don't have friends, so here we are talking to the camera. Um, so, essentially, I don't know why. So, so when we set our... Well, okay, let me back up. I'm sure you guys already know this. I don't know if, like, I've told the story with my husband. Because I know we love doing our little videos together. Which I want to do one soon with him. But we um, got engaged on the end of September in 2015, right? So then we set our wedding date for the january of one year later so we were engaged for like a year and three months and that's only because the last three months of the year go by so fast it's like the holidays and all that so we were like okay so i don't know why so we set our date 1717 it wasn't because of the numbers but the numbers do look cool but like it was a saturday and i don't know that's that's what we set our date for i don't know i wanted a winter wedding I don't know our reasoning to be honest and then I didn't even start planning the wedding until July before we got married like six months out so we had the wedding coming up so it was the holidays and the wedding and we moved December 1st so you have Thanksgiving in the end of November and then we moved December 1st and then there was Christmas we didn't go back to the Bay because we had so much to do for the wedding because we got married in the LA area um, and then it was like, you know, New Year's, we never do anything for New Year's, and then it was the wedding. So it was like back-to-back -back holiday season, moving, like we threw moving in there with it, whatever, and then we got married. So then it was like, after I got married, I was like, okay, now what? Like, what am I supposed to do now? Because I'm used to working, like I've always worked, and I didn't know what to do. So I was kind of like figuring out what I want to do, of course, just helping him with his business, but I never knew like what I wanted and um I went on tons of interviews I think it was end of 2017 or end of 2018 
I can't remember. My husband told me, like, just buy the camera for YouTube because I've been talking for years. Like, one of my sisters told me in 2013, like, you need to do your little makeup YouTube channel. And I was like, eh. And it wasn't a thing back then. And she just told me, like, post videos. But I wasn't into it because at the time, I was so focused on a career in music. So, I didn't start it then. And, um... Yeah, so I bought a camera. My husband made me buy my little YouTube camera. I don't know if it was 2017 or 2018. And then I tried to film one video. It was a Halloween video of, like, um, a character from Aquaman, a little special effects. I don't know why that was my first video to film. Like, what a psycho. And I had no clue what was going on. I didn't know that the Canon cameras, I don't know why it does this. It cuts off every 30 minutes. So I basically didn't know that it had stopped filming. So, I never even looked at the footage to that video. I was like, okay, bye. Never filmed again. And then in 20... Dang. 2019? Oh my gosh. We've almost been at this unit for two years now. I told you guys we're in our third unit in our apartment complex. We had a one bedroom, a two bedroom, and then now like it's like a three bedroom. It's a two bedroom loft. But yeah, we moved there um, April 1st, 2019. And then I filmed my first video in June and started posting in August. And then now it's 2021 already. That's like unreal. It took me a while to get started on YouTube. And now I've been doing YouTube like a year and a half. Like I take it as my job and my responsibility. And, I'm, you know, I was posting three videos a week. And then I kind of took a break just trying to figure stuff out. And now I'm posting like once or twice a week. Um, but yeah, I'm just like, mm, I don't know. I feel all over the place. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. So I'm probably going to get off this camera. <laughs> But I'll take you guys in there with me to do my hair if it's allowed. If it's not because of COVID and everything, then we won't be filming. So I'll show you the end result either way. Oh, I didn't know I was recording. Will you turn it down just a smidge? Just about two seconds, a smidge. I'm back home now. Um, I would need to figure out my car vlog mount because I've never used it before. Here's the husband. Hi. What's up? <laughs> um, this is the hair. I don't know if you guys have seen it styled. I don't think you have. So we went super light in December, like I said. And then he just softened this part. So it's like a little bit rooted, but not as like a harsh line here. So yeah. I think we're gonna go for a walk. I actually tried to go to Ralph's on the way home and I've never seen a line at Ralph's and the Ralph, the Ralph, Ralph, what? The line was around the building. Can't even talk right now, but the line was around the building. So we wanna go on a walk later and then we might go to Ralph's or the grocery store, I'm not really sure. I'm trying to get him to go to the Louis store. What's on my lip? To exchange um, a gift I got him. He doesn't want it. He's ungrateful. I'm just kidding. But um, I don't know if he wants to go. So, you want to go? Look at how big the couch is. Look, he looks so little. Hi. Hi. I have all these marks on my face. Uh, I did like a self tanner droppy thing in my um, moisturizer last night. So I'm like tan, but I have like marks from my mask, my sunglasses, all that. He's watching CNN. No, I'm not. Oh. Right now he's watching, um, what is this, ESPN? But he was showing me the craziness on CNN, like, I'm shook. Everything right now is like draining and too much and it's madness, so I can't wait for January to be over. We just made it to the mall. The baby is about to charge the car. If he can figure it out. <laughs> well, somebody put a card there. A card? Yeah, you want to look at it. Yeah. What did they do? Hey Tesla owner, we created a TV channel just for you to add Volti. Okay, cute promo. Get it. So we're just charging. Hi. Hi. Change his gift. Wow. 
we're just leaving the Americana. Um, he got his little pouch, which I don't know if I told you guys, but I was trying to decide on getting him this like phone pouch that holds your phone and your cards, like so you don't have to carry a wallet. I was trying to decide between that and a phone case, and he's gonna get a new phone, so that phone case wouldn't work for him. So we got this pouch, which we'll show you when we get home. But right now we're going to Tatsu Ramen in Pasadena to get some ramen now for dinner. Right on to South Central Avenue. South Central. Morning, it's Tuesday morning. Um, I just got to my walk. So I'm gonna do like at least 45 minutes to an hour. And while I'm on my walk, I normally talk to my dad on the phone or my aunt on the phone. And then I need to go do a Target drive up order. And then I also have to do a curbside order from um, Best Buy for my husband for work. He needed like an iPod for his client. So I'm gonna grab that for him. And then um, I wanna see if I can go to Blue Mercury again to get those peel pads. I don't know um, why they were closed on Sunday. So I'm gonna call and see if they're there. If not, I'll just drive to my facial place this week. But I don't know how I have like a busy week. It's not really busy, but it's busy. I don't know if that makes any sense. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys after. I just finished my walk. I'm sweating so bad. How long did I do? 42 minutes. So I'm gonna drive to Target now. I came to charge my car um, at the mall because I'm waiting for this Best Buy order to pick up this iPod. Let me see if they emailed me. Well, I'll just show you what I got from Target if I can pop the trunk. Um, I'm waiting on the Best Buy iPod, and I was thinking, should I just go to Costco, which is next to Best Buy? But I don't really need anything from Costco, and then when you do that, you just come out with, like, a million things that you don't need. I might grab the workout outfit I bought from Target right now to show you guys while I'm sitting here. I think that I saw this last time I was there. I don't know, but I did an order pickup. This is the cute sports bra. The back looks like this. These are the pants, but they are 7 8 so they'll go like a little above the ankle. It's the same um, print, so that's cute. Um, I just want to rant for a second because I think I ranted yesterday for a long time at the hair salon, but I don't know how much I'm keeping like in there because, you know, I don't want to be dramatic and stuff, but essentially, I'm just having a hard time mentally. I'm having a hard time with motivation. Um, I'm having a hard time getting in, you know, a routine and having self-discipline to do everything that I want to do. I didn't end up filming yesterday. I want to film today when my husband goes to work. Because I think um, after I pick up the iPod for my Best Buy, he has to go to his client's house and, like, fix computer stuff. And then he's going to go to um, his studio that I showed you guys in, was that the last vlog? Yeah, I showed you guys in the last vlog. He has, like, his own studio space now an actual recording studio because um, at the house he has his own office and studio but it's like he can only do so much in there because um, if I'm sleeping he's not gonna like you know play the speakers and then sometimes it doesn't sound good on headphones so he has that space now which is exciting he's actually just really trying for a baby let me tell you everyone that has seen my new car is like oh he 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 wants that kid like he's really trying and I'm like mm-hmm he told me that if we had a baby when we still live where we live that he would give up his studio and go rent a studio off-site and then that could be the nursery and somehow he now has a studio off-site but I'm not pregnant and not getting pregnant anytime soon <laughs> so I don't know what he's doing okay back to my rant I'm just irritated like I want to get back to fasting and working out and I have been doing walks but it's like I told myself I wanted to start doing weights little by little again so that when my challenge starts in two weeks, I'm not just kind of like starting from ground zero. And I also wanted to lose weight so that I'm not starting from my biggest again like I always am, which is just so ugly. Like before Thanksgiving, I started a challenge and I actually was like not at my biggest and it was very nice to be like that, but I didn't finish that. The holiday season was a mess. Everything was a mess. And let me tell you, um, exciting news, but at the same time, I'm panicking. My husband told me that we're going to Miami for a month, February 1st through March 1st, because his client, they all want to go out there and record the album and whatever else they're doing. So, we're going to be in Miami for a month, most likely. It's not confirmed or booked, but probably this week or next week it'll be booked. So, I'm like, okay, it's going to be cute for me because all I'm going to be doing is, like, working out, going to the beach um shopping while he's working 
you know, and just like staying at the hotel. Oh, I have to send in photos of my um, scratched little spoiler I bought for this car. There's a guy like fixing the little charge ports or whatever. Anyways, I forgot what I was talking about. But yeah, Miami, my husband will be working on the album and then I'll just be like having a cute little workout retreat. Working out non-stop, walking at the beach, shopping, like living my best life, laying at the pool because Florida is unreal and everything is open in Florida. Like here in California and LA, nothing is open. So um, yeah, everything is open out there, restaurants, shopping everything um there's no travel restrictions nothing so that will be exciting because i'll be starting my challenge like a week before we go out there yeah but now i'm like uh even more reason to like hurry up and get in shape you know and then i'll be like doing my workout thing while i'm out there so i'll be losing weight out there but my goal is to be to my ultimate weight goal by my birthday which is april 7th which i definitely can do if i just like stick to it but it's like the getting started part that is killing me the most right now. Like I just can't do it. Like I feel stress, I feel pressure, I feel anxiety. I feel a lot of emotions. Yeah, I'm gonna stop ranting because people are watching me and I can't get my thoughts together because <laughs> I feel nervous. Are you gonna show them what you got? Yes. yes <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> what are you doing? A little, a little show and dance. Okay. Ba ba ba. Wa ba ba. Wow. La la la. La la. Ba ba ba. Come on, just open it. Ba ba ba. Oh, cute. Cute. Show them the inside. So this is like a pouch that will keep your phone inside. It says it holds two phones. I don't know who has two phones, but it says two phones and then you can put all your cards in it. You can keep miscellaneous recreational products in there. Is it real leather? Is that the side the phone goes in? It comes with a strap and little pockets. Cute. Oh, I'll see the fit. I wanted to include your football coming out video with your clothes I bought you in my vlog, but I did it because of the music. This is cute. Are you excited? It matches your duffel. Yeah. I like it. And your birthday's coming, so that <coughs> that was just for his anniversary. Birthdays are canceled. Birthdays are not canceled, because guess where we'll be for your birthday. I want to show you guys this good little healthy snack. If you want a little healthy something, like if you like chips, like for some reason I'm a snacker, these are so good. This is my favorite flavor. And then I wanted to show you this. So this is my screen protector I'm going to put on the new car. Um, this install will be like on my little Tesla video. I don't know if that's going up before or after this, but yeah, it's like an amazing screen protector and it's anti-glare, anti-fingerprint, all that. And then something like so annoying and weird, but I just thought I would mention it. Um, I got this new little trash can for my bathroom from Simple Human because I don't know. I was like over the open trash can in the bathroom. I felt like it was kind of like nasty. So I got a little white one with the little foot pedal that opens the lid. And then it took these specific size bags. So I actually had to order these from um, Bed Bath & Beyond. They're the size B. So they're like little ones. I thought I would just show this to you. I don't know. It's like weird stuff like that. I'm so into when I watch other people's videos. And then I already showed you guys um, in the earlier clip. This was just a cute little outfit I got from... Um, Joy Lab from Target. So, I'm supposed to be filming today and I just don't feel well like my energy is super super low and I don't know I just feel like curling up in the corner with a blanket and just not moving but if I film 
the two videos I need to film today. It's literally just a makeup shoot and then like talking of another video. Um, I won't actually have to film any more sit down videos for like a minute because I have some already done and then I have all my vlogs. But I, you know, my hair is already done kind of from yesterday. So if I filmed like later in the week, I would have to have someone redo my hair or I would have to do it because like, you know, I hate doing my hair. I really want to um, put the contact paper on that table also. So I don't know, I'm gonna see how today goes. My husband's about to leave soon for work. He's like running errands, buying more computer parts and going to his client's house. He has to go get COVID tested for his client. Um, they always send him like once a week or once every two weeks, so. I'll let you know if I'm doing anything or if I do the contact paper, I'll definitely show you. Okay, so I do not feel like filming at all today. So we're gonna do the contact paper on the top of this. This is what I got from Home Goods that I showed you guys in the last vlog. So I'm going to clean this with alcohol first. Have my little supplies just to make sure that there's no um, residue or dust or anything. My husband took off the label for me because I couldn't get it off with my nails. And also, you don't know who like touched this at the store, so just want to clean it. I'm interested to see how it's going to work to do the edges, so I might just have to like fold it over longer and then just like use the razor here. I don't know if I showed you guys yet. Here is the contact paper. Um, I'll, it's on the other side, so I'll show you. It's like a um, marble, but with warm tones instead of cool tones. And then I got this kit. Um, it comes with like the little precision knife and the scrapers and like getting all the bubbles and stuff out. I wanna say the contact paper, I had to pay more. I was gonna be $11, but I needed to be longer like this so it can cover um, this side and on this side. So this was like 23 bucks and I wanna say this was $5.99. I'll link it down below for you. There's some little instructions here so I'm gonna see if I can read them to figure out what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to set something here. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give you guys a close up after. So I'm doing it a little longer on each edge. And then, oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, so I'm cut. Like look at the tones. It's so much prettier in person too. It just has like gold and kind of like more warm tones. I don't know how to describe it. Well, this is taking longer than I expected. It's been 15 minutes and I don't even have anything on. The unpeeling was like the hardest part. It was so easy to put it on and like get all the bubbles out. Okay, that took me so long that my camera died, but here is the end result. The top is flawless. It looks more like pink tone in person. Um, the corners, I could not figure out. This is the best one, so I won't even show you the other ones. And I did not do this back piece, which I'm thinking like, should I? But it's gonna be probably to the wall. But yeah, so like obviously the edges are so hard to do, but the top is the only thing that matters and I feel like it goes cute in here. And then I think I showed you guys, I got this for my laptop so that my neck wouldn't be hurting because I've been having like a pinched nerve. So yeah, it's from New Look See, it's from Amazon, I'll link it. I'm trying to be quiet because my husband's sleeping, but I'm just going to put on a little makeup because I don't know what happened, but I have like little breakouts. Um, I'm gonna go look at the house we want to build with my friend Annie who does my nails um she's moving out of state so she wanted to go see the house because we've been talking about it for a while and she wanted to see my new car so I'm just gonna put on a little makeup and so I'm gonna do a time lapse of 
Just like something quick. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. By the way, he just finished fixing my rims on my car and you can't even tell they were scratched. Like I know it was small, but it was deep and he like sanded it perfectly. You can't even tell that anything was ever wrong. So I'm excited. I just did something supernatural. Um, I did my normal face routine and then I tried the new Fenty lip, which I love. Um, and it's new Kim K lip liner. And then I just did bronzer and mascara. Look at my lashes. These are the Lancome CLS primer and the push up lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. I just curled them first and did this and let it dry and then did Charlotte Tilbury. I just have to go like throw on some clothes and then my friend will be here when I get a coffee and then go. I'm waiting for my rim to dry. Um, he said give it like an hour so that dust doesn't go into it. So I'm hoping that's okay. So I'm just waiting for my friend right now. She's going to be here soon but I can't drive the car for like another um, 10 minutes because the paint on the rim has to dry. So I'm just in the car um, waiting for her. She'll be here like in 10 minutes or so. So then I'll drive down to guest parking and grab her. Sorry, the lighting is so weird. The screen is like giving me this weird underlight. We're gonna go to the place where we've been looking at um, building a house and showing her, like I said, because she's leaving. I'm so sad she's leaving. She did my nails three weeks ago and they still look so good. They're just grown out a little bit. I have to ask her like, how do I rip these off? Cause I won't have anyone do my nails anymore and everything's closed, so. Yeah, I will show you guys clips of the house because I know last time I didn't include a ton of clips on my get ready with me in the summer when we went to first look at it. Um, but I'll show you guys more clips of the house. It's like so beautiful and I can't wait. Um, we're hoping to give them a deposit sometime this year so they can start building. And then once they start building, it will take 10 months to complete. And there's someone coming, so goodbye.
So today with my friend, I saw a floor plan that my husband and I hadn't looked at and um, I really wanted to show him. So apparently he can use his like VR goggle set and look at the floor plan. I don't gotta do nothing. Yeah, so he's like in it right now. Let's see, you can see the house, it's really cool. Just showing you guys. Good morning, it's Thursday today. I think it's the 14th of January. Um, I'm just in my office right now. I'm editing, trying to finish this video. I have to film like a clip later um, for a sponsorship when my husband goes to work and then I'm gonna add it in and try to get this up by tomorrow so I can go live Saturday. And I just made a protein shake, uh, my same one I make. I'm on my second cup of water. I need to do five of these because I haven't been doing good with my gallon. Um, and then I had a little goat fuel energy drink. And then, um, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna just like edit this and work on this. And then when my husband goes to work, I'm gonna do my makeup, film the clips. Um, I need to go to Best Buy to get the insurance for the camera because I guess you have to take the camera and the receipt in together if you don't buy it when you're buying the camera. So I need to hurry up and do that today. I think I need to go fill up our water jug. There was something else I feel like I need to do. Oh, I need to go to Blue Mercury for those peel pads because I still haven't gone. And yeah, I can't think of anything else, but I'm just sitting here editing in the office. So I'll check in with you later when I'm actually doing something. Hi guys, I'm checking in. Um, I just finished filming. I had to do a few clips for some videos, just like intros, outros, finishing things up. Um, I did have like errands I wanted to run. I wanted to go to Best Buy to get insurance on my camera like I said, but I think my husband took the receipt to work with him, so that's a fail. Um, I've just been editing. It's almost 4 p.m. I had a protein shake and an energy drink today and I'm feeling great. I'm not feeling hungry. I might have like some avocado toast later. I was thinking of going to get a green juice from Whole Foods. There's one called Green Lemonade. It's kale, spinach, uh, what else is it? Kale, spinach, lemon, and apple. It's like to die for, and you can add a pinch of ginger. But I was thinking maybe of going to a different home goods location to try to find a desk chair because I told you this one is like, ugh, just broken. So, um, trying to figure out that. I My husband's at work, so it's like, I don't know, when he's gone, I just love running errands and stuff. I don't know what other errands I need to do. I guess I'll look at my phone, but, um, I don't know if I told you guys, but it is like 99% definite that we are going to Miami from February 1st through March 1st for my husband's job. It's not a vacay, okay? So all you, you know, COVID queens out there that love, you know, enforcing the rules, it's not a vacay, it's for work, it's essential. Um, for me, personally, it's essential because my husband's a little suck and he doesn't want to be away from me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but yeah, you know. We're always together, we're the dream team. So it's basically gonna be like a workout retreat for me. I'm just gonna be at the hotel while he's working every single day and I'll be working out, going for my walks with my mask per use, maybe a little shopping, but mostly working out because I'll be on my fitness challenge then. And of course I'll vlog everything for you guys. So I'm like trying to think what kind of clothes do I need? Now Miami is like one of my favorite places ever to go. I can't say in the world because I actually haven't left the country. I do have a passport, but haven't left the country. So I don't know like how the weather's gonna be or what to wear, but I know I need to buy some clothes because all I have are work outfits. I mean, I'ma just chill, edit, and I'll vlog if I go anywhere or go to Home Goods or whatever. It's like every time I have my makeup on, I don't vlog. I always vlog with like my hair a dirty mess and a little bun and like, you know, little pimple action here. Back in my hoodie, my little uniform. Um, I remembered I had to take my AT&T boxes to like FedEx or UPS store. So I think I'm gonna do that and then maybe go to a home goods. I have to look on my phone to see what other home goods there are to try to find a desk chair. It's kind of dark right now, but um, I just went to home goods and Target. It's a place called La Cunada. Um, It's like maybe 10, 15 minutes from my house and it's the cutest thing ever. Um, so I went to Home Goods. I got two brush holders. They didn't have any good desk chairs. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. And then I low-key went off at Target. I spent $300. Don't ask me how. But we're gonna do a big Target haul when I get home. I'm thinking, like, I'm not that hungry. It's 5.30. 
But um, I might just go to this vegan place and get this buffalo cauliflower. And they do curbside, and it's I think like five, ten minutes from here. So I'll meet you guys at home and do a Target haul. Okay, so I came back from Home Goods and Target. I got the buffalo cauliflower I was talking about, and I wasn't that hungry. I only ate half of it. They gave me like a huge portion. It's just cauliflower, and I think it has a batter on it, and then they put buffalo sauce, and then there's vegan ranch on the side. Um, if you live in LA, it's called Sage. Um, I go to the one in Pasadena, but there's also one in Culver City. There's one inside LAX, but I don't think it serves everything, and then... Oh, there's one in Echo Park too. It's on Sunset. Um, but I like one of the Pasadena one because it's easy for me to get to from where I live. So at Home Goods, I didn't find a um, desk chair again. They were so ugly. Um, so I just got two brush holders. I don't even need brush holders, so maybe I'll use one for setting spray. I'm not sure, but um, let me show you that. So this first one, I actually... Ooh. This first one I actually saw a YouTuber, um, Diana Saldana. She got this, but she got hers off of Amazon. Uh, why is it broken? What? Is there a screw missing? Okay, the screw's inside. So it goes like this. It's like this little crystal knob. And she put like, she got this exact one from Amazon, but then she put those like beads in here. And then it's supposed to be for brushes, but then it has the lid so that um, dust doesn't get inside. I don't really think I'm keeping this one. This was $25, but I got it just in case. I don't know, I already have like a brush holder, but I was just trying to see, you know, if I wanted something new. Then this was the one that I was really excited about. I think I might put setting sprays in this. Look at, it's like holographic, it spins, and it has this amazing knob right here. So, if I don't use it for brushes, yeah, like setting sprays could be cool in here. I thought this would be cool for my desk, I don't know. How many times can I say cool? Yeah, so this other one with the case, like I think it would be pretty healthy. Oh. Hold please, it dropped in the sink into like oatmeal. Cute. So I think this one could be cool with the beads and stuff, but I don't have that many brushes like to put in there. So we'll see. So that was Home Goods. Um, no coffee table books, no desk chair. But the Home Goods I went to was like really, really cute. They had a huge selection. It was a little busy in there, but they had a lot of nice stuff. So Target, it was a city Target, I think, and it was just like a craft from Home Goods, so I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't resist. Don't ask me what I got there. Let's just go through it. Something I want to mention about Target. So if you guys have the Target app, if you're shopping in store, use the barcode scanner on the app and scan each item because if it's cheaper on the app, they'll price match. Like even in LA, some Targets are more expensive than others. So I got this, this was on clearance. Um, this was on clearance for $5 and some change. This has a light on it, but I really need a new magnifying mirror for like when I tweeze my eyebrows. Um, mine dropped on the floor when I was cleaning and it broke, so uh, I got this for five dollars. Then these were also on clearance. These are by Ilore and Vegas Nay. It comes with glue. This is just like a nice little um, faux mink lash. They looked cute, so since I'm not doing lash extensions, I figured that would be good. I hate doing strip lashes because you already know I'm allergic to the glue. And I want to do my eyelash extensions again, but I think I might wait till we come back from Miami because if we're going to be gone for a month, I, like, I don't know anyone out there to fill them. So um, that would be kind of pointless to like put them on and then they'd all fall off. And then I finally got my hands on two of the Maybelline glosses. They're kind of like KKW vibes. So I got the shade Moon and Stone. Moon has shimmer in it and stone is just matte. So we're gonna try those. I got three different bikinis for Miami because I literally have no bathing suits that I'm comfortable in. Um, normally the past couple of years, if I did go swimming or in our pool or something, I would wear like my little shorts and my bikini top. So I have no bikinis 
and I wanted like a little matching set. I'm not gonna try these on until like we're about to go because my body right now is not cute. Today's the first day I ate healthy. I had um, like a whole bunch of water. I still have to do more for my gallon. But I had a lot of water, I had an energy drink, and then I had a protein shake, and then I had half that serving of the cauliflower. The only thing with the cauliflower is like the ba the batter, I think, is the only bad part. But um, it does have a lot of sodium, which I always feel bloated after, and also cauliflower bloats me. So whatever. Three different bikini sets. These are so cute. This is the first one. It's like this cute little mint shade. And then the bottom looks like this. I didn't know what size to grab, so I just guessed. I always see this style, and I really, really thought it was cute. Um, hopefully it fits my chest, but it's like the one where it's kind of like a half cup, and it has this wire here. So hopefully it's cute on. And then the bottom, it dips down in the front a little bit. Again, I just grabbed like random sizes. And these were, I feel like the like Junior's brand at Target, so I sized up a little bit. Like this one, the brand is um, Exhilaration. This is the other one. Oh yeah, this is the last one I got. So it's like this cute little like leppy print, but it's copper. I had like Miami in mind with these, you know, but they're cute for life in general. And then I love that this one has a tie because I hate when stuff, like I have bigger hips, I hate when it like cuts in on the sides. My camera is dying, so <clears throat> if it looks weird when I come back, it's because I had to finish on my phone. <clears throat> I'm trying to finish. If not, I'll just charge my battery and then finish. So this is just like a little swim cover-up, a size large, just to like have it oversized. I don't like it for the mint, but I like it for the leppy one. Then I got a sweat outfit in three colors. This is by the brand A New Day. So we did a jogger in three colors with a matching crew neck. So we did lavender, this dope little olive moment, like a little easy vibe, and then I did a straight up beige. And the tops are crew neck, they're all the same, so I'll just show you one. I'm trying to hurry because the battery's gonna die. But I thought this was so cute. I got it a little oversized. I could always shrink it if it's too big. Um, yeah, but I got the matching one to all three. I got razors. Tell me why. I got this one. Tell me why. All I wanted was the head because I already had the handle. They wanted like $25 for six refills, but this was $8. And it comes with two heads in the handle, so I got that. Then, lastly... I just got these two clips for my hair. I used to use these back in the day. I thought they were so cute. So that is my Target haul. Um, this is the first day in a long time that I had a good day. I was so productive. I was working from the time I got up until when I left for errands. I did a lot of editing and filming, so I feel really good. I feel productive, so. I'm gonna chill, take a shower, and I'll see you in the morning. So I just woke up. I'm in the same spot I was in yesterday. Oh my god. Sorry, my computer was going off. Um, but yeah, I woke up and I wanted to go on a walk because I think I was telling you guys yesterday um, that it was like the first day I had in a long time that was like a good day for me. And I think it was because I was productive and I ate healthy and I just got a lot done. Um, I wish I would have worked out yesterday, but at night the coyotes come out where i um walk sorry my hair is like crazy uh, i need to wash it but at night the coyotes come out so it's like not a good time to walk and around my house it's like there's too many cars i don't like it so i was gonna go walk this morning and it's already 84 degrees it's gonna be 88 today like okay january like you know sorry i was online chatting with sephora about my order um yeah, so I didn't go on my walk. I'm thinking I want to... Sorry, it's asking me to do a survey. So I think I want to do my, um, like, 30-minute Pilates stretch. I've been saying I'm going to do that for so long, and I haven't even done it yet. I might do that today. Um, I want to try to, like, finish. I've been doing, like, a whole bunch of organizing with my file management. Because with vlogging and doing other videos, it's been confusing. And then, like, having the vlogs broken up into, like, you know, weeks or whatever. So, I'm just going to finish editing my video that's going to go up tomorrow. 
that'll be my first vlog of the year and then um i want to finish my video that's going up tuesday which is my tesla video i think i told you guys the spoiler that came for the car was like scratched so they shipped me a new one if it's here today i'm gonna install it but that will be in that video i'm trying to be quiet because ray's sleeping obviously he goes to bed so late they still haven't shipped the spoiler which is annoying they created a label like two days ago but it never shipped so i don't know so that video is supposed to go up on tuesday so i'm hoping it comes before then so i can like put it on but yeah i'm just gonna work on my computer for a while um then like spend time with my husband when he gets up before he goes to work and then i might work out after that i was thinking of asking my sister if she wanted to go to h&m home it's here um in la because she's been wanting to go i've been wanting to go so we will see about that um i didn't do my gallon of water yesterday but i have all my water up here on this little shelf and i had um my little energy drink this one tastes good it's peach pineapple so uh, i know those aren't the best for you but it's better than me going to starbucks and spending nine dollars and getting something that is like 500 calories that's 10 calories i think or 15 so I'll just be over here working and if I do something fun or I leave, then I'll show you guys. Today is Friday, by the way. It's noon. I'm still editing, but I just made some avocado toast. So this is my favorite. It's um, sourdough bread toasted with avocado, red chili flakes, everything but the bagel seasoning and then honey. Hi, guys. I'm in the Jeep again. It feels so weird to be driving the Jeep. Let me make sure I hold this tripod. Um... I miss my Jeep. I love how it's like up so high and it's just so cute, but like it drives completely different than an electric car and the Tesla. It's like the steering, like I could go like this back and forth within an inch on each side and the car wouldn't even move. Whereas a Tesla, you move, sorry, you move the um, steering wheel a millimeter and you turn, you know? So I'm basically just driving to CarMax to see what they would offer us for the Jeep because we're leaving for Miami in like two weeks from Monday. Today's a Friday. So I'm trying to get the Jeep sold before then because we're still paying on it. And it's like, yeah, it's a lot per month to be paying for two cars. Um, and it's just like a waste of money. So they normally lowball us, but I'm just going to see what they give. And then we might sell it private party. Like for the most part, we're breaking even onto what we owe, but it's worth more. So we're just trying to like you know get the best deal for it or whatever so um i'm gonna go here and then i'm gonna drive back home and switch cars and i have some pickup orders to do so i'll check in with you and let you know what they said here in a minute just waiting for them to appraise the car I love my Jeep, I'm gonna miss it. Hi guys, just checking in. It's Friday night around seven. I am so tired. I think I'm just gonna like take a shower and relax. Today I worked pretty much all day editing and just dealing with my hard drives. The last time I checked in with you, I was on my way to CarMax. So they essentially gave like the lowest price, which is like what the car dealerships are giving. It's basically like a little under the blue book value. And we would almost like cut even, but like I said, it's worth more. Um, if you sell at private party, it's just like dealing with the people and waiting on the people. So I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I'm just kind of like over it. But um, yeah, I just ate. I got some Chipotle vegan little tacos. I don't love it, but the problem is a lot of the vegan restaurants I like eating at, um, I can't really count the calories and I'm really trying hard to like, you know, keep track of what I'm eating. So you're able to count the calories on the little Chipotle website. So I got the three small tacos. I didn't get rice or anything. So it's just the little shell. Um, I got the flour ones. And then all I got in it was like beans, vegetables, guac, and salsa. So the way I made them, it was 600 calories for three tacos. I would say they're like, mm, like if my palm was folded <laughs> like this. I don't know if you guys have seen them then you know but before that I just had a protein shake and avocado toast earlier this morning I didn't start eating till 12 
and then I stopped eating right now at 7 so today's only the second day that I've been eating healthy um I'm not like trying to set rules or anything I'm just nervous to weigh myself on Monday because I haven't weighed since Thanksgiving and I have to weigh on Monday to do my like assessment before my challenge starts because the challenge starts a week from Monday so I have to like weigh myself take my measurements take my before photos it's all in their app and I'm just kind of nervous um so yeah I ate healthy yesterday I had just a protein shake the energy drink and then half of that cauliflower at night and then today it was the same the water the energy drink protein shake but I did have one piece of avocado toast and then those so I think I ate maybe like mm, around 1200 calories maybe I basically had like put my scale away because I was weighing every single day even if I wasn't eating healthy or working out and it just wasn't good for my mental health but Best Buy was already closed and then um, I did my Target drive up order. I just got the sports bra I showed you guys from the other day in a large because for some reason it was too small for my chest. So I got a large and then I'm keeping a medium just in case but when I lose weight I don't really lose it in my chest so I probably will just return the medium but the medium pants had fit me. I don't know why because I always feel like I'm bigger on the bottom because like my hips and my butt are big but for some reason like if I have to go up in size it's always on the sports bra and not on the pants whatever so yeah I'm just watching Total Bellas I love the show they're both having babies at the same time it's so cute so I'm gonna watch this and take a shower and then just relax morning it's Saturday morning at 10 30 um, I got up kind of late because I couldn't sleep well last night, but my sister's about to be over here and she wants to go to Hobby Lobby in Burbank. It's close to my house. Um, we have to charge the car first because I'm at like 110 miles left. I mean, I'm sure I can make it, but I've never gone under 80 and we were going to go all the way to Woodland Hills, which is like a 30 minute drive to um, go to H&M home. So I'll show you guys what we're doing. I want to do a little taste test on the goat fuel. The energy drinks I brought two different flavors so she could taste them and I was really craving this vegan donut place it's like super healthy it's called donut friend so I don't know if she wants to go over there um, I don't think she's in a hurry to do anything so we'll see my sisters here Hi. We're, I want her to do a taste test of the goat fuel so we have blueberry lemonade and then I think this one's peach pineapple and she's never tried these energy drinks before I'm gonna try this one first to me, it tastes like sugar-free Red Bull. It's good. It tastes like a sour peach ring. Oh. I want to try this one. And you can have the one that you like the most, and I'll drink the other one. Whoa. Crack it open. Crack it open. It tastes like a blue... Slurpee. <laughs> it does? Yes. Mm -hmm. Which one do you prefer? I'll drink the other one. I like both equally. I've never tried this one. I only had that one. Want the, the yellow one then? Sure. We're just about to leave from charging the car. We just went to the bathroom over here at the mall and just drinking these energy drinks and then we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby. And we're matching for some reason. She's wearing blue with white, I'm wearing jean with white, and we're both wearing black. Guys, Hobby Lobby already has Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and Easter stuff out. I love Hobby Lobby. Well, let me see. Oh, so cute. Your body looks snatched in those leggings by beach. <laughs> she looks so good. If you didn't know, she's an inch taller than me and I'm probably like 100 pounds more than her. <laughs> We're both gonna get this to match. It's so cute. And then there's a red one too. You like the white one though better? Yeah. Okay. It's like a flesh one. I have to copy her on everything she does. Oh, for the door? Yeah. Everything is what? 40% off. Well, look at these. What would you use this for? Like in a dish or a, um, like a vase and a pillar. Oh. Oh, look at the Lepi keychain. You want one with your initial? Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at these. Look. This is so cute, it's $4 and it's 40% off. I'm gonna ask my sister if I should get it because it would go with this. Sarah? Yeah. Should I get this? It's $4 and then it's 40% off. Would it go with this? Yeah. Is there a better one? Are you not overwhelmed? Is there not too many people here? Okay.
There's so much cute stuff in here right now, like cooking stuff, spring stuff, and I was getting Valentine's Day um, decorations, but I'm not even gonna be home for Valentine's Day, but I'm still gonna buy them for next year. Look at all these peaches for a little backyard get together. No one has a backyard. <laughs> Four friends. <laughs> oh, Leppy. And they have all this pink Leppy, like all matching. What is that? It's like a little special kitty. My sister's obsessed with all this. It's like Dolly Parton or something. She has. Is it just kitchen stuff? Yeah. Dishes. Dishes and stuff. Hi, it's Sunday morning. Um, I just got to my walk. I haven't walked in so long. I think since like Tuesday or Wednesday. But it's already 75 degrees, so I'm trying to get this walk over with like at least 45 minutes to an hour um, before it gets any hotter. And I'm also wearing a hoodie like an idiot. So let me get this walk done real quick, and then I'm gonna go charge my car, and I want to like update you guys on. Uh, the rest of my day yesterday and everything like that so i'll see you in a minute hi guys so i'm just checking in with you it's sunday i'm just having a lazy sunday um i did my walk it was super hot so i just did 45 minutes um then i went to charge my car i was planning on updating you guys um when i was charging my car on everything from yesterday but i was on the phone with my sister like my whole walk and my whole time charging the car i think we talked for like an hour and a half or something i was just having bad anxiety when i woke up and like i don't know i just i'm like i tend to suppress my feelings so it was good to actually talk to her about stuff so yeah so yesterday i think the last time um i saw you guys we were at h&m home in woodland hills it was a lot smaller than i expected i thought they were gonna have like a huge selection they actually have more online so if you guys want to shop the h&m home online um i'll link it down below for you i think the stuff online is super cute and it's like super affordable. I want to say like $20 for a vase, you know, stuff like that. But they did have a lot of towels and bedding in the store if you're into that. But yeah, so after that, um, we wanted to get something to eat because it was like 3 p.m. and I still hadn't had anything to eat all day. I just had that uh, energy drink, the goat fuel one. I need to hit up uh, my father-in-law. Hi, father-in-law, if you're watching this. You know, I need to be like sponsored by Jerry because I've been drinking this goat fuel every morning. I have everyone drinking it. It's in my vlog, you know. I actually need to buy more. I have one left, so I need some. Uh, I need some for our Miami trip, or I'll just buy some out there. I think my husband said you can get it at GNC. So, anyways, yeah, um, we wanted to eat, but um, sorry if you hear the game. The playoffs are on. It's Kansas City and the what is it? The Browns, something like that. But um, yeah, we wanted to eat, but you know, it's takeout only in LA and in California, so you can't eat outside, and I didn't want to eat in the car. So we just got food over here where we live, um, so we could eat it at the house, and we just chilled and ate our food, and then my husband was like taking a nap, and you know, I was just relaxing, so I didn't really do much. This morning I woke up, I was telling you I was having a rough morning, but I felt better after the walk and talking to my sister. So I just, I had, um, so yeah, I just did the 45 minute walk, I charged the car, and then um, people are gonna get really tired of me saying I charged the car, so apologize in advance, but you know, it's just a part of my life now, I have to charge the car. Um, I can't actually charge it here at my apartments, so I might not have to go supercharge it, but I think a full charge um, at home is 10 hours, and then a full charge of the supercharger is like 45 minutes to an hour. That's the reason I always just go over there because it's free right now. But I could charge it at home if I wanted to. So anyways, yeah, I came back um, from my walk and I was getting a lot of work done. I was editing my video for Tuesday. Um, you know, doing some emails. And what else did I do? I had some avocado toast, my usual. I'll probably have a protein shake when I'm hungry again. But yeah, I'm just going to watch football with my husband and chill and just kind of like plan my week. I might start making um, like a packing list for Miami because we leave two weeks from tomorrow. I need to make sure I'm taking like all my travel equipment, like my lights and stuff I want to be taking out there. Yeah, so I'm just hanging out. But if we get anything to eat, I'll show you guys. Or if we do anything besides just watch football, I'll definitely show you. Yeah, that's all I have going on for today. Oh, I also wanted to mention last night 
I ripped off all my nails. I don't know if I showed you guys already, I forget. So I ripped them all off because they were just almost like four weeks grown out. And I told you how my friend that does them, she moved out of state. So I'm really sad. But she told me to put some like nail strengthener on there. So I'm gonna do that. And I think what I'm gonna do is just give them a break for like two weeks. And then I was thinking of getting those static nails. They're press on nails. They look super professional like someone did your nails. And they're only $15 and you can just keep reusing them. But um, I was talking to my husband and he reminded me like Miami's open so I can get my nails done out there. So I'm gonna maybe go on Yelp once I know where we're staying. We're either gonna be at a hotel or they might rent us an apartment or something. Um, since you know he has to work out there for a whole month. So yeah, once I know we're staying, I might go on Yelp and try to find a place and just have them do my nails and feet out there. Or if not, I'll just do the little press-ons. But I thought I'd share that with you and look at, I did not get any good sleep. We really gotta figure out what we're doing with these eye circles, you know? I say that every vlog, but it's just like. Riding with my loved ones. We're gonna get demonetized. Smoking on some weed. Okay, 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 you can't say that on my channel. Can I close out my vlog so I go to sleep? Thank you so much. Your little head's right there. <laughs> Cause I look a mess. Sleepy. I am sleepy. So I'm just closing out this week's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I'm so tired and delirious right now. But yeah, that will be it for this week because it's Sunday night and we'll start a new one tomorrow. So, good night.